and welcome to another edition of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Wolfsbane English Bitter. Mmm. Today we're going to be talking about 1989's Nightmare Beach. It is directed by James Justice, which is a great wrestling name. It is, yeah. <laughs> he also wrote Primal Rage, which is another kind of cool 80s movie. And co-directed by Umberto Lenzi. Stars John Saxon, the man. He was in uh, Black Christmas, and he was in... Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yep. Sarah Buxton is in this, and uh, she's in Freddy's Nightmares. Nicholas de Toth is in this. He's in The Stuff. And Michael Parks is in this. He's a Tarantino man, basically. <laughs> he always plays a Tarantino sheriff-type <laughs> character, right? Yeah. <laughs> So Nightmare Beach starts off with this character named Diablo who is like the leader of a bike gang is being put to his death and he's being taken to the electric chair and I didn't kill your sister you bitch! <laughs> I'll see you in hell, striker! <laughs> and he's put to death. One year later, Skip and Ronnie, a couple of football players from college, are driving into Miami for spring break. They show up at the hotel to check in, and the desk clerk is all weird. He's some fat John Waters guy. <laughs> Then it cuts to some girl hitchhiking. This biker stops. Got this crazy looking yeah. futuristic bike, right? And she gets on. You're going too fast. And he stops and it electrocutes her to death <laughs> on this bike, right? He's like, what the hell kind of bike is this? <laughs> he has some special made killing bike. So Skip and Ronnie go to like the local bar and they park their shit hot convertible car. <laughs> right in front of all these bikers, right? And the bikers tell them, better move right now. And they're like, no, nah, fuck you. Like, Ooh. what if bikers told me to get out of the way? I'd be like, yep, <laughs> no, no problem, problem, guys. But then Stryker kind of like, oh, guys, back off. Yeah. They go into the bar and they start talking to the bartender. Befriend her a bit, but Ronnie's coming on very hard like an asshole. The police have found the dead hitchhiker. The coroner's there and he's all drinking <laughs> in that <laughs> flask. Diablo's gang might have something to do with this. Ronnie gets pissed drunk. 151 rum. Yeah, was like, like oh man, that'll fuck you up. I know from bitter experience. Just wandering yeah. the streets, like, ah, oh, hitting on women. Then the whole biker gang kind of <laughs> crowds, oh, fuck. They beat the living shit out of him. <laughs> but they don't kill him. He's still alive. They just taught him a lesson. And who shows up on the big, badass motorcycle? And a mass killer. Yeah. And electrifies Ronnie to death. <laughs> so Stryker and the coroner figure that this Diablo gang is kind of up to these killings. Sure enough, the grave itself is dug up. So they're like, fuck, Ronnie hasn't come back. So Skip is kind of starting to get worried and he starts to kind of ask around. He goes to that bar. So he goes to the police station to try and make a statement. Well, it's spring break. A lot of this stuff, has, this is just typical. Yeah. It's common. They go to the coroner. He knows where Ronnie is buried. And so he takes him to all these sand dunes. Sand and dunes, yeah. <laughs> Skip starts actually digging up Ronnie's corpse. And who shows up is Stryker. You bury that body now, boy. So we really start to get the sense that Stryker's a lot more corrupt than what he leads on, than right? Than thought he was. Exactly. Yeah. Skip and Gale, they kind of start to suspect that maybe this striker, he's not as upstanding as he appears to be. So they go to his trailer, they find all this weird shit in his trailer. No. <laughs> Sex, like all this weird kinky. <laughs> All these pictures yeah, and, and these, like, these all leather, <laughs> all leather and chains and... <laughs> <laughs> he comes home though, right before they can gather any evidence up, and they take off. On her motorcycle going home, she ends up being followed by that very motorcycle guy. And we're gonna end it there, because there's a lot more stuff that happens. There's a lot more twists and turns in the plot. Yeah. The coolest things about this movie is like the characters and how they all kind of change throughout the movie and they're not what you really think they are. Like Stryker, 
the good cops realize like later like oh man he's covering up all this weird shit and he's not quite what he seems even the mayor's like oh, i thought we covered that up yeah Boy. shut up shut your fucking mouth yeah. which leads into the mystery of this movie it's a good mystery who's killing all these people exactly there's all these red herrings everywhere right yeah. is it diablo back from the grave you know maybe these bikers they're a bunch of badasses it could be them the kills in this movie are a lot of fun you know there's a lot of electrocution has to deal with the way that Diablo died being in the chair, right? right. So. There's a wicked furnace death, ties her down, cranks up the heat on this furnace, and he opens the doors, and like the flames come it out. Just lets the flames <laughs> come out, yeah. Melts her to a cinder. Yeah. It's really cool. Another good death with like good effects is when takes that those wires and you can see her like start to melt and everything. There's some funny like after deaths too like when they show that shitty hotel manager and he's all like <laughs> spying on <Yeah. laughs> all that woman through that whole peephole like fuck some creep motorcycle it's like a cool yeah. like death machine right. these guys drive like where'd he get that from where did he make it or what like it'd have to be custom made <laughs> it's custom made death motorcycle is <laughs> like cool. pretty cool yeah, and it's like it's got that special arm that pops out, so yeah. then people grab it to get on. And they let you... Yeah, and then he's got those buttons, and yeah. boom! This movie is full of twists, which is one of its hallmarks, right? Yeah. It's like, it can go either way, and you're not quite sure who the killer might be. Okay, so you think that Stryker's the good guy, mm -hmm. and then you find out he's the bad guy. And it's like, okay, maybe he's behind all this shit, and then... Right. Suddenly the bikers like tie him up to their fucking motorcycle and just drag him away like <laughs> drag him like Argh! Wanna go for a ride? It's like oh, it's not Striker. Yeah, it can't be. Well, who the fuck is it then? Like who was left to be the killer? Even though it's not Striker, so they eliminate Striker. It could still be lots of people. Yeah, it could still be the bikers. It could yeah. still be this person, yeah. that person. You don't know. Yeah, the commentary on corrupt government too. Like oh, yeah. the government hides everything and has its own agenda and will protect its own. Like this Miami Beach thing, it's a huge money maker, yeah, right? Yeah, everyone comes for spring break, we exactly. make lots of money, we don't care who dies. They don't they don't want to they don't want this to get out yeah. because then they won't make enough money. But they're not gonna try and protect the public. Right. They don't yeah. give a shit. They just care about the profit. Let everyone go wild. Whoever dies dies we'll just take the money. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. We've seen this before, right? In Jaws, yeah. for one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this movie, like, it looks good. It's good production value. Mm -hmm. Good kills. It's got a good overall feel to it. Yeah, the panoramic shots. You see, yeah. like, of all the people on the beach yeah. and everything. And, like, all those 80s parties with all those women yeah. opening their shirts and yeah. dancing and stuff. Like, it's, it's very, really good. It's very colorful. It's a good, like, walk through memory lane. Exactly, yeah. yeah, the way it used to be. So, if you want just a really fun mystery kind of whodunit movie that's, like, just embedded in the 80s, this is, like, just a, a time yeah. machine. With a lot of electrifying kills. <laughs> yeah. Then check out 1989's Nightmare Beach. That's right. And until next time, keep drinking. <laughs>